The first images of the second season of the House of the Dragon are finally revealed. After days of speculation about when the trailer for the second season of the House of the Dragon would be released, official images were published, along with the premiere date of the series and the trailer. Do you want to know everything we know so far about the trailer and all the secrets that are hidden in these promotional images? Then stay tuned to this video. And for more videos of the Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. To the Three-Eyed Raven. The first images of the second season of The House of the Dragon were released today, December 1, 2023. After weeks of speculation, even after the press saw a preview of the second season almost a month ago, the images show the adult versions of Rhaenyra Targaryen and Alicent Hightower. The friends who have become enemies over time. In my opinion, these are not simple promotional images, as they hide the tone of this upcoming season. Let's start by analyzing the image of Rhaenyra Targaryen. Rhaenyra, with fire in her eyes, wears a black and red suit, looking worn out, and her hair is obviously disheveled. But as I stare, I notice something on her face. She has two tears, but she shows no sadness on her face. Moreover, we see a much more vengeful look. On the other hand, the image of Alison Hightower contrasts greatly with that of Rhaenyra, since we can say that this one does reveal an emotion of weakness, and we can see how her face shows some kind of fear. We can also read the words, blood for blood which means that she will pay with blood the debt that generated the first season. But what do these images mean? More than just promotional posters, they reveal what will happen next season, and readers of the books know very well what I mean. Rhaenyra will use fire to fight back. This is not simply a metaphor or a phrase to cause expectation. The images tell us what will happen. The second season will show us the path of Rhaenyra's revenge, after the death of her son Lucerys. The last scene of the first season of The House of the Dragon showed us a mentally destroyed Rhaenyra, after her son Lucerys lost his life at the hands of Aemond. During the first season, Daemon repeatedly warned Rhaenyra that she should attack the Hightower, that they had stolen her throne, and it was her time to punish the traitors. However, Rhaenyra did not listen to his words, and preferred to wait. This was the time that Otto Hightower took advantage of, to increase his power in Westeros. When Daemon releases the news of the death of Lucerys to Rhaenyra, she understands that the rogue prince was right, and that there was no turning back. It was time for revenge. Rhaenyra, with tears on her face, will use fire against fire. She will seek to avenge her son, and seeks to take back what is hers. For her part, Alicent Hightower's face of fear is completely justified. As we know that one of the cruelest events in the history of Game of Thrones is coming. Alicent always tried to keep order in her family. She helped Rhaenyra during her youth, and there was even a certain romantic affinity between them. However, what was once a great friendship began to deteriorate after Alicent married her friend's father. On the one hand, Alicent tried to follow the faith of the Seven and help Viserys and Rhaenyra in the duties of the kingdom. But Rhaenyra saw her former friend as a person who took advantage of her closeness to her family to try to steal what belonged to her. The fight between Alicent and Rhaenyra reached its peak after Aemond ended Lucerys' life. For that damage, there is no repair, and Alicent knows that very well. In the book Fire and Blood, we can read what was the first reaction of Alicent when she knew about the death of Lucerys. Aemon thought that upon returning to King's Landing, he would be received as a hero. But the book tells us the following. Queen Alicent blanched at the news and cried out. May the mother have mercy on us all. Sir Otto was not happy either. How can you be so blind, having lost only one eye? 
Alicent is incredibly upset about what happened to Lucerus. She possibly remembers all her good times with Rhaenyra, and she knows that what happened is an act of war. There is no going back on what happened. Alicent complains to Amond, but it's too late. Interestingly, after Alicent learns what happened to Lucerus, the first thing she does is cry out to one of her gods and scold her son. This Alicent is very similar to the one we see in the series. The fact that Otto doesn't agree with what happened either shows that Otto wanted to come to a more diplomatic solution. He knows that since Lucerus lost his life, the risk of a full-scale war has increased, and now everyone is in danger. Rhaenyra's side has many more dragons than the green side. On the other hand, it was not all scolding for Prince Amond. King Aegon welcomed his brother with a feast and announced that it had been a great start to his reign. I imagine that at that moment, Otto and Alicent felt the same as Cersei and Tywin Lannister at the moment when Joffrey Baratheon became king as they placed the crown on the head of an irresponsible and above all, cruel person. However, the blood debt is what the poster refers to. Alicent knows that now Rhaenyra wants revenge, and now her family is in danger. The details of how Rhaenyra will get her revenge, and how she will use fire against fire to get her blood payment, is a topic we have discussed in other videos, but I assure you, it will be one of the most tragic moments in Game of Thrones history. Now when will the trailer be released? And when will the series finally premiere? The first teaser trailer will be released tomorrow, Saturday, December 2nd. This teaser will show us, possibly, Rhaenyra getting ready and sending Daemon on a special mission. On the other hand, if we go by the promotional images, it is possible that we will see Alicent scared after finding out what happened to Lucerus. So tomorrow, after we see the teaser trailer, we will post a review on this channel. It has also been confirmed that the second season will be released in the summer of 2024, which means that we are a few months away from its premiere, and we will see more trailers and promotional images. But tell me, what is your interpretation of these images? And for more videos from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Before I wrap up this video, I want to let you know that the videos on this channel are based on both the Game of Thrones and the House of the Dragon series, as well as the books by George Martin. If you want to learn more about this universe, I'm going to leave you our affiliate link in the description, where you can order the books or their audible version. And if you like the official t-shirts of this channel, you will also find the link to our store to order your favorite piece. Thank you for your support. And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on The Three-Eyed Raven.